Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday guys. I am kind of excited because today I am getting ready to start making the treats for my friend April's um, daughter graduation. She asked me to do her daughter's treats and I am really excited to do that. So I'm gonna be making pretzel sticks, Rice Krispie treats, and cake pops. And I'm super excited because the cake pops is gonna be a little different from what I've ever made before. They're gonna be like graduation cake pops with the little um, hat and tassel. So I'm excited about that. She got all of the stuff that I need, so basically i just want to start prepping her today is um wednesday the party is actually on saturday however there are some things that i want to start prepping before so that's what i'm going to start doing today i'm even thinking about baking the cake today for the cake pops so that that is something that i don't have to worry about doing um tomorrow because tomorrow is thursday already and i'm also excited because i found this little cake pop ball maker it's called a cake pop press um by good cook i saw this at walmart today because i had to grab a few things out of there and i'm not sure how these are going to work but i figured i would pick it up and give it a try because it was only like two dollars and 97 cents so um i'm gonna see if this will help make the perfect ball shape for the cake pops um, because if you've ever made cake pops before they're taunting and time consuming because rolling the ball and all of that stuff you kind of want to get a nice neat ball and so i'm down for whatever would help make that process easy so i just grabbed a couple of things um while i was in walmart today i got me some reynolds wrap i got the cream cheese um frosting that's gonna go inside um the cake mix and everything you guys when i uh bake i generally love to use this stuff here this stuff is so good like i love um the baker's joy um spray for the bottom of your pan it really works really good it has that flour in it already um i think pam has uh, one of these um blends too with the oil and flour together but for some reason i really like this one here fyi and i have something else that i am going to be making today i'm gonna try to do all of this today y'all i'll be trying to do everything and then i just run out of time but today is a perfect day because um today is actually one day that we don't have to go back out take Amari or anything so I'm in the house pretty much for the rest of the day until it's time to get babe and it's 222 right now so I have a while but right now so the tassels that I'm gonna make and the cap I'm gonna use use like the molds she got some molds from like Amazon let me see if I can show you guys what they look like. So basically, these are the molds for the cake pop hats. So that's how those look. I'm not sure. I'll try this. This is like the little mold that set and you set the um, hat on top. Um, but I see a lot of them. They don't have that, but I'm going to see how that would look. But basically, so today I just want to start um, putting my molds together or doing the um, hats because that's something that I can do ahead of time. This will help with the actual process um, when it's time to put everything together. And then um, also I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be doing some pretzels they're gonna look like little graduation um uh, diplomas let me see if i can let me put the camera down and see if y'all can see like this this is another mold this is the graduation diploma you see that so basically this would be where the pretzel stick go and in here is where you would pour the white chocolate so that the 
um, diploma has. It looks like a rolled up diploma. And then I'm gonna put the little red heart in there. Or not heart, but bow. With um, red um, chocolate milk. So those are the things that I definitely want to get started on like now because to me those are some things that I can just get out the way and then I can work on the other stuff uh, later. So I'm excited to start and then I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing in the kitchen or all of what I'm doing. Also today you guys, I did buy some stuff to make. Um, I've been really having a taste for like, and I already, I already know why. I've been watching a lot of videos where people are doing like these uh, mukbangs with the seafood boil mukbangs. Now, I didn't get me no crab, but I did get some corn, sausage, potatoes, and um, shrimp. And I'm going to make some sauce to go with that. So, I've been watching them and wanting it so bad that I told my husband I was going to start. Well, I want to make a big uh pot of sauce and just kind of like put some up so i could freeze it and then later on when i want some i could just take it out and have it there and freeze it. because y'all them crab legs are looking or the mukbangs with all that sauce and stuff is looking amazing so that's what i plan on doing today that's what i plan on making for dinner but i'm gonna start working on these first to kind of get that ball going so i'm excited so Let's get started, you guys. Here's my little drawer with all my little things in there. These are my little ball thingies that I got. They work, but I wanna try the other ones. I like them, but I don't like the fact that they got the holes on the bottom, so I'd rather have like a smooth type of ball. Um, but I do like the fact that I could at least get the size that I want. This is like a smaller one and this is like a bigger one. So I have two different sizes. These are like little um, for the fondant or cakes or whatever. I got little dust brushes. I got all kinds of little stuff in here. Some little molds. These are all my molds. I got all of this stuff from like Amazon. Cause I just knew I was starting a cake business, y'all. I was gonna be doing all of that stuff. Which I probably should consider doing that because I have fun doing this stuff. I had just got burnt out doing all of that. But anyways, I have like glitter, different glitter dust. This is like a white, pink, silver, blue and then red i'm gonna use the red to um go on the tassels that i'm gonna make and these are like uh flavors this is like a watermelon flavor cinnamon is another watermelon and cinnamon but I got these because I was trying to make candy apples at one time I was doing all of this well I was thinking about doing all of this when right before I started working so I never did really do anything because I didn't have time work take up a lot of your time when you're trying to do something or you want to start a little business like being at work it don't it don't help you none because you you have to go to work you don't have time these are all my little bags my goodie bags treat bags like to put the cake pops in or whatever and then i have a whole nother bin in the um uh, in the pantry but i don't need that right now i just wanted to show you guys my little stuff
are the first set of molds that I've done. They're drying. You can tell these are drying because they're starting to look a little different. And these are the ones that I just, see how they're more glossy? I'm excited to take them out so I can see how they look. Hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be so happy. Because uh, the last thing I want to happen is for them to start cracking or anything like that. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed because be this is the first time um, I've made molds. So hopefully, we are doing something right. I also put my chocolate on top of this towel. Um, on top of my um, little warmer here you know this is one of those um, things that you can cook on um, and I have it like on a very low temp well I don't know why it's not on I have it like on 300 so that it'll just keep everything warm and not dry out because um, I had to get a new bag because the inside of the other bag was drying out and so was the melts inside of this thing here so this is just to try to help keep things warm and um not dry out or harden guys could tell like this one has like almost look marble can you guys see that and this one looks more of a black finish like it doesn't have like that marble look to it um, even this is like a nice black like I need it to be and then this here is more of a marble color so I have to figure out why that is because I would prefer them to be black so uh, it was really easy to do so I'm gonna work with more of them and see if I can just get all of them to come out this nice color um, smooth black color because this is like perfect so that's what I need them all to be so I'm gonna try them all again and then see how that works. Um, other than that, they were really easy to um, to do. They were really easy to um, pop out. I didn't have any problems. So I just have to figure out how to get that um, nice shiny black color and that's it. So we're gonna start working on our little Texo diplomas. Make sure this is dry all the way around. And I'm gonna start with the ribbon first. And I'm gonna use a toothpick. Because the little groove in here is like really, 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 really small. And I wanna um, be very careful when doing the red because I don't want it to run. So I don't wanna put a whole lot in there. And, um, I saw a video where you would just use like a little toothpick to do little small detailed things like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
so I'm just gonna dip my little toothpick in. It's basically like coloring it in, I guess, so you guys could see where the where the bow is on the inside, and I'm just taking um, my chocolate and then using that to color it in. Now this could be time consuming. I'm realizing this could definitely be time consuming. So. little method may not work for me um, I think I have some bow molds that I could use and I think I will probably do that instead because uh, this is gonna be forever to make 36 of these um, it's taking a long time um, just getting this in here unless I'm just scared that I'm, I'm about to mess something up but it's, it's literally taking too long and um, I just can't see myself doing this for, for such a long time like this. So we may have to um, go a different route. Um, but basically that's the bowl. And then um, <laughs> I would just um, pour the chocolate on top. However, it's not gonna work for me. This is what I mean by plan B. These molds are um, little bowls that I could just use to um, put the chocolate in or I have some red fondant and I'll just do that instead because like I said, the other one is going to take forever. Our little practice pretzel so the other one won't have all of this around it but I'm figuring it out so at least we kind of have an idea of what it would look like and this is our uh, handmade um, bow so we have one done
cake pops and what I'm looking for is a play-doh consistency so that's why I'm adding a little bit of icing um, at a time so that I don't overdo it You guys, this is definitely the part about cake pops, pops that I absolutely despise. It is so difficult. Um, you have to be very careful, like extremely careful when you're um, doing your cake pops, dipping them because they will fall right off the stick if your dough isn't like a perfect consistency it literally have to be stiff as a board and i feel like my dough isn't as stiff as it needs to be so i have to be extra extra careful when i am um, dipping the chocolate or dipping the pop into the chocolate um so yeah Every time I do a cake pop, I always say, oh, I'm never doing this again. Because it's very time consuming. See, look, 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 look. That's what I mean. That one wanted to slide right off. So you always want to make more just in case. Make extra pops just in case because you're gonna lose some. I've already made like 10 there's already like 10 already drying and then there's two over here I have a couple behind me um, but this is taking forever like to just stand here babysit them tap tap I mean if it could be if it would work smoothly then I wouldn't mind doing them it would be fun but this could be very stressful if you're not um, careful or if you don't make your dough right I believe that's the that's the the trick the dough your cake has to be like play-doh definitely has to be like play-doh and it's always nice to have um there it is to have like a um some sort of maybe like a stick they have little scribes that you could use um but i have toothpicks that I use just to like bust like any little bubbles that appear I just use that to kind of um pop them so that it'll the chocolate will be smooth
much done. I just have to uh, put the cap on and that's like one that I did already. That's super easy. I have those. So with these, it's 16 on each acrylic tray in it. So that's what, 32? And then I have those there. Um, I'm making a total of 40, but you guys, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It took, I had to really just take my time to make sure that I'm not, um, they're not running off like the cake isn't slipping off. So basically, these over here are like our little hats, our caps. So you just kinda like, I'll show you guys what I mean. So basically, I uh, just take a little bit of chocolate milk in my little um, baggie and then um, I'm just gonna sit this there on top and this is like it hardens up so it acts as glue and then I'm just gonna put another little dab on top of that like that and then I'm gonna take my little um, top of my hat or my cap and just kind of set it up there like that and we have graduation hats I still have to add the tassels on the um, on the side but this is just what it's looking like so far uh, without the tassel and um, yeah that's the easy part you guys the hard part is done so I gotta get babe and then I'll come back and finish these up and start uh, working on the tassels Just wanna dance, want a simple romance Nothing more, nothing less from you Just stay the night and we leave when it's like Nothing wrong, it's alright with you No prize No prize No need So free don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal As long as you can show me a good time I don't care Oh, 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 oh. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance Nothing more, nothing less from you No ties No prize No need So free I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time don't need promises, honestly, no big deal As long as you can show me a good time I don't care Oh, 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 oh. 
face, never let it stop. I just want your.